This is Dr. Mark Taylor at the Gateway Aesthetic Institute Laser Center in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to demonstrate a comprehensive way that we treat acne scars using multiple modalities including the Taylor Liberator, a surgical instrument that we use for extensive subcision of rolling acne scars. Here we're using tangential lighting to accent and allow us to mark the rolling acne scars on this patient's cheek and temple. After we have marked these areas, we draw a circle around the area where we are going to do the fractional ablative laser. We then do a second thorough cleansing of the skin with an antiseptic to make sure that we have uh, prepped the skin adequately. We then anesthetize two small areas in the sideburn and then use tumescent anesthesia to fill in the area underneath the acne scars. This makes the area completely numb and also allows us to have a firm area in which we can do um, the treatment with the Taylor Liberator Acne Scar Dissector. This shows the area after we have done complete tumescent anesthesia. This is very puffy, very numb. It also makes it so that there is less likelihood of any bleeding or problems postoperatively. The patient also is very comfortable during this procedure. Following the tumescent anesthesia, we use a light chemical peel. Here we're using a 20% trichloroacetic acid peel to blend the areas of the normal skin in with the areas that we treat the acne scars. By doing this, the patient looks uh, more even and more normal in skin color following the procedure. You now see us using the Taylor Liberator acne scar dissector to release the scar bands in the dimpled or rolling acne scars. This takes about five minutes on each side of the face to release all of these acne scar bands and is much more efficient than using a small needle such as the no-core needle that has been traditionally used in the past for subcision. Uh, this tool uh, is able to be used through a small point in just the sideburn so there's no scar on the face or in any of the other areas where we're doing the subcision. Uh, because we can reach all of the areas from one pinpoint, it allows us to be very efficient and have fewer entry points in the skin to be able to accomplish subcision of all of the acne scars from just a couple of vantage points. It's also important in doing this that a person have good experience and know exactly where this tool is being used uh, at the level of the uh, bottom of the dermis and above the subcutaneous fat. Having tumescent anesthesia in the skin makes this a very safe procedure in skilled hands to be able to uh, do the subcision efficiently. Following this, we use a fractional ablative laser we use here the Fraxel Repair Laser in darker skin types. We use the Photona SP Dynamis Fractional Ablative Laser to do this part of the treatment. Here we are doing thousands of small fractional ablative laser holes in the skin to blend the skin together and blend the acne scars. Following this, we use an infrared light, the Omnilux, uh, 8 10 nanometer light, and then we apply some antibiotic ointment and healing ointment to the face at the end of the procedure. This is used for about one week following the procedure and here you see this patient exactly one week following this extensive one and done procedure. You can see how much improvement we got in those scars.